Hey everybody, Scroft here. Just wanted to quickly point out just before the video starts, I have lost my voice a little bit and uh, yeah, got a bit of a sore throat. So I hope it's not affected the video too much. I'm just glad I didn't have to do Jerry's voice because I think that might have been a bit difficult. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy the video. Ah, it's not too bad, George. Well, how much is it? Um, two seconds. I'm I'm guessing about halfway now. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah, just a little bit over halfway. Well, maybe then. Maybe we'll get it done in time. Well, I bloody prefer to have too much than not enough. Yeah, <laughs> me too, mate. Me too. Anyway, what, what, how, are you nearly done with it? Nearly, mate. Just doing the salage now. A's in. I'm on my last load. Sorry. In fact, let me just have a quick look at it. Uh, White's saying it's alright, but we might be a bit off. Um, yeah, it's getting there, mate. Just needs good mix. Alright then, mate. No worries, no worries. Uh, what's your plan? My plan? As soon as I've done this, I'm heading down. I'm gonna crack on with the fields. Are you still... You still up for later? What? Yep, yeah, you are. Definitely, mate. I've been waiting for this for... I've been waiting for this for ages. I can't even think how long now. Well, well I'm doing it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy to show you. I think now's a perfect time. I've done the morning milking, so yeah. I'll show you the afternoon one. Perfect, George. Perfect. Uh, well, I guess then I'll just crack on with the seeding when I'm back. I don't think you build it back up. But you've done really well. In my opinion, you've got three fields out of four done. Yeah, I know. The last one's the biggest field, isn't it? I don't want to try to get them rolled. Probably before... I don't know. Probably before... End of the week. Well, you can only do the best, but... You've also got to try and figure it out properly, because... I don't want to go lease out a roller if you're not going to get it done in time. You know, if it starts bloody germinating, then... Well, we're buggered, aren't we? And I've just got to spend out a bit of money leasing that out. Especially if I'm going to buy this bloody trailer. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it when it's seeded, when I've done the last field, and I'll, I'll let you know what I can do. I'll try to be realistic, but we had a cracking harvest last time around, George. It makes a difference. Well, I know it does. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm not, I'm not arguing with that. I'm just, you know, don't want to waste money. I get that. How's Keith anyway? Is he nervous? Bloody nervous. He had a spook to me. <laughs> I don't want to blame him. Ah, it's, not, it's never nice, is it? No, but it's got to be done. Are you still taking him? Well, I'll take him, I'll give him, well, he's got to be there at one. Sort of past ten now, so, about an hour's drive, so, yeah, I'll probably leave about half eleven, just be there in time. All right, mate. I'm, I, he'll be happy that you're going with him. <laughs> he wanted to tell me that, though. 
Are you going to wait? Uh, no, I'll be back for second milking for you, but I might pop in later on in the evening, just say hello to him, but, you know, it's going to take him a while. He ain't going to get, he ain't going to start his operation till probably the evening time anyway, so. Uh, I'll go with, I'll go see him tonight. All right, mate, I would say I'd come with you with Beanie, but I don't know if he'd want that. No, no, I don't want to do that. You'll embarrass him. Bloody hell. Yeah, probably best just to see how he is and when he comes out and, you know, speak to him then, I would. All right, mate. When I get back, I'll I'll stop in the house and just say hello to you both. All right, mate. No worries yet. Appreciate you doing this. Well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Oh, did you go down to your farm? Yeah, I've been down to Keith's, sorted that out, fed and everything. Made sure it's all good. Uh, You're gonna have to figure out what you want to do with Bruce. Oh no, uh, uh, he's happy there, isn't he? <laughs> he's happy there. Of course he is. Well, we'll have to try figure it out when we need him back in with ours. But as long as he's happy there, that's all that matters. Yeah, <laughs> he's happy, mate. Anyway. Right. See you in a bit. See you in a bit, mum. Right. right. Let's just quickly. Give Beanie a bell. Hello? Hey up, Beanie, you right? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you... Are you getting on? Oh, good. Um, yeah, give me about an hour and an hour done. Oh, that's plenty of time then. That's good then. Right, well, when George heads off with Keith to the hospital, I'll, I'll come give you my card and then we... Just go, just go and get whatever you need. Okay, no problem. Are you sure you don't want me to get it? No, 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 it's, it was my idea and I, I want to pay for it. You're already doing enough. Well, I don't mind, honestly. No, I've got to contribute some way. You'll love this, George will, I promise you. Okay, well, I'm still on if you're still on. Yeah, I am definitely am. I'm just doing this fee mix. I'll be back to farm when George and... Keith, head off. I'm going to do some seeding, so it'll be a perfect time for you to get the bits, but then I'm going to be doing that second milking later, so when that happens, I'll give you a little call just to let you know, and then you can start, because he won't be in the house. Okie doke, sounds perfect. Alright, Beanie, thanks for that. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright, is that sorted out then? <laughs> Hopefully that'll put a smile on his face. Definitely shouldn't use this tractor. I need to try and figure that out. Maybe go back with the fence every night and in the morning do the feed mix for him. Because it doesn't like this much weight. It could just about handle the, the smaller Keenan, but it don't like this one. Right, we'll leave that going. Ah, separate is going. That is useful to have. Now they started producing a bit of slurry down here. You can even see it. But it's so useful to have because it means that the muck that's already starting to pile up when we're cleaning them out, mucking them out, it's yeah, just means that we can add to that with a bit of this this separated slurry really. Take all the solids out of it. <laughs> much better, much better. I actually can't wait to try out milking. It's been ages. George has been promising me for some time, but I think I'm pretty lucky to try it out in such a new parlour. <laughs> right, we'll get this done. We'll go say hello to George, and then I'll get out in that field. One field left to do. And at least all that grape cereal is in the ground. Ah, he's got his door back open. <laughs> George? Well, I'm in here. Right, and where's, where's Keith? He's in the living room. All right, let me just say hello. What? Uh, hey, Keith. Mm -hmm. You sure, mate? I'm in the room. I don't know if get it done, no. Just thought I'd say hello. I know you got to go for that op. Uh, well, I hope it all goes okay. Uh, no, no, no. If you need anything, mate, just shout. Me and Beanie, you know, if you need anything from us, let us know. Uh, all right, and Keith. Uh... I'll leave you to it, mate. All right, buddy. Oh, what you say, dude? 
I just said, you know, if he needs anything, let me and Beanie know. All right, um, you seem right. He's a bit quiet, but I can't understand a word he says anyway half the time. <laughs> That's bloody true, huh? Oh, uh, well, what are you doing making a brew? Yeah, I'll make one of them in. Oh, bloody hell, use you straight to that bloody kettle. <laughs> I know, I'll just uh, sort of come speak to you because I know you're going to head out and then yeah, I'll probably be out in the field for quite some time anyway, so I won't see you till later on in the afternoon now. Well, that's true, that's true. You figure out that trailer? Uh, I don't figured it out, but we'll definitely get one. Definitely pick up one of them, huh? What about our cedar? I'm happy with it, George. Works a treat. Not a problem with it. It's obviously smaller. It takes a bit longer, but... Yeah, I'm happy with it. Depends if you want to fork out that money. Or if you think you can buy something better. Well, I did want to invest some of the money I got from the harvest. And I was thinking, we need to seed it. It's important. We need a trailer. So, you know, two good things invest in. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking about tractor. A, what? Another tractor? Not another one. I was thinking about maybe just adjusting. What do you mean? Well, we obviously got to keep bloody fent because we need fent. Yeah, can't I get rid of the fent, George? No, I don't want to get rid of it. I'm just saying you keep the fent. But we got both them masses. We don't use them as much, but why don't we get another one, sell both of them masses, get another second hand brand new one that's just got a bit more juice? Well, sounds like a good idea to me. I, I was going to actually mention to you, I made a mistake and drove... I, I basically used my track to bring that feed feed mixer down full. God, it was a nightmare. Didn't want to move. <laughs> what are you doing up? Oh, you got to take vent for that one. I know, but fence got hooked up to the seed. It was just a pain last night to swap over. So I just used my tractor. Well, bloody hell, you don't need to do that. Well, if you get another tractor, George, and sell the masses, then maybe I could use that for jobs like that. Well, that's true, that's true. I'll have a look. I'll, I'll see what we can do. Maybe we can speak to, to Ross. In fact, in fact, mate, when he does his, uh, you know, scrap day, there might be something out on show. You never know. Another farmer might bring one. Even even bloody Ross might bring one. Yeah, that's true. At least you can keep an eye out for something. <laughs> you know what'll happen, though? You'll buy that cedar off him, and then some other bloody farmer will come with a cedar. <laughs> oh, you just bloody know it. You know it. Well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Don't know what to do yet. If you're happy with cedar, I'm happy with cedar. It's just a lot of bloody money. Well, it's up to you at the end of the day. It works. I'm happy with it. I can carry on using it. You make the call on that. And and all them trailers are excellent options. So, yeah, it's whatever you fancy, mate. All right. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, com it's complicated, really, because... I don't know what rush into anything, especially if we do go down the route of getting another tractor and selling the two masses. We could, what we could do, we don't really need the trailer until the next harvest. We could not buy a brand new trailer and uh, just get this cedar off Ross. And then when he does his, you know, his scrap day, we can have on our shopping list a second hand brand new trailer that's decent. And maybe, maybe a tractor as well. Yeah, could do. You'd probably save a bit of money doing it that way, but didn't you say that, you know, trailers you want brand new because they last years? Oh, they last years, but the same goes for a second on brand new on the last years. Yeah, that's true. All right, and well, it's, yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. I like the idea of definitely getting our own cedar. We do need a bigger trailer. I aren't fussed if you want to get second hand, brand new, or brand new. But the idea for the tractor is a really good one. Well, you could even speak to Brixie. We need to do. Yeah, I'd speak to Ross. Speak to Ross. Speak to Brixie and see if there's anything out there. Well, I'm trying to think what we could go for. I want to go in for a John Deere. <laughs> I didn't expect you to. What about another Massey, but, you know, one with more horsepower? Well, I could do. Could do. Don't mind a Massey. I don't mind a New Holland, really. It's just a shame they changed the name, innit? I'm Ford to New Holland. <laughs> Exactly. It's still Ford, though, somewhere, in it? Ah, uh, it is. No, I don't mind. Massey, New Holland, Fent, any of them. They're really good tractors, really. Good tractors. Probably, if I had a choice, New Holland or Massey, like. But we'll see. I don't want to get anything too expensive. Nothing brand new, Christ. 
Connor fooled that. <laughs> All right, and right. I'll make a brew and I'll head out. What time are you leaving? Uh, about 50 minutes. Fair play. What time do you think you'll be back? I'll probably be back for a second a second uh, milking, so about half four. I'll, well, I'll make sure I'm in the house then for that time so we can get started, eh? Ah, and don't a faff, because I want your head switched on, right? I'll be telling you a lot. You've got to take it in and learn, don't I? I want, I want you to be interested. I am interested. I'm really interested, George. I, I aren't going to aren't gonna waste your time. Good. It's bloody important. You'll see my side of the job then. You know, when it's good for you, because if you ever want to do it yourself, or I go away or take a few days off, well, you never know, God forbid, I might get sick one day. It'd be nice that you can fall into into that place and, you know, do it for me. I agree. No, I really want to learn, George. I want to waste your time. All right. I think he's gone. So I need to go find Beanie, just so I can give him my card. And we can get this surprise in motion. <laughs> Well, the seed is full, ready to go. Right, let's go find Beanie. Give him a card. <laughs> Smallest gestures sometimes have the biggest impact. Beanie! I'm over here. Alright then. Has he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Just saw him drive off. Okay. Right, here's, here's my card. Okay, thank you. Um, you've probably got... Well, he said he won't be back till half four. Okay, okay. Uh, plenty of time then. I'll uh, I'll head out in a minute because I'm nearly done and get the stuff. Do you want me to start when I get back? No, no, don't don't start till we're doing the milking because he's going to go straight back in the house, isn't he? Yeah, that's true. So wait till... Wait till I... I'll give you a call as soon as I start the milking with him. And then... Yeah, you can go in, can't you? We shouldn't take long milking though. You'll have about an hour and a half. Bro, plenty of time. Okay. Right, I'm going to get out in the field. If you need me, let me know. Okay. See ya. See ya, love. <laughs> That's good. Great ducks. Cows look happy. Plenty of feed now. Yeah, they should be fine. Let's get out in this field. Big one to do. And with this cedar, it's going to take me some time. Probably going to be working through the night with this one. But we'll try to get as much done as possible. Twelve o'clock, so I've got well, pretty much four hours, something like that, until George is back. Good chunk of time to get this done. In four hours, I might get it finished, you know. If that's the case, I won't be out in the field overnight mm, let's just see if I can get the rolling done probably got a couple of weeks after it's all seeded in to do that and George got at least one out as well try and make a call on that
Shame I could have finished that off if I had another half an hour. But let's get this done. I'm looking forward to this. George? Oh, kitchen. Are you ready? Oh, let's do it. Are you right? Oh, I'm alright. Oh, just, uh, just bloody strange, isn't it? Leaving him there like that for that off. He'll be fine, mate. He's in good hands. I know that. I know when I told him I'd be back later on, but just don't feel right, does it? Don't sit with you. He'll be fine, I promise you, George. Come on, come on. Let's do, let's do this milking now, and it'll keep your mind off it. Well, I'll eat him, mate. Yep, yep. I'm all right. Don't worry about me. It's Keith, isn't it, really? I know what you'll be feeling as, as well. It's just, it's tough. It's tough, mate. He's your best friend. He'll be fine, I promise you. All right, mate. Right, let's go do this then, eh? Looking forward to this. Oh, me too, me too. Well, time I showed you this. I've been doing it bloody every day you've worked here, twice a day. <laughs> I know. Right, do you want to go just get set up? I'm just going to get something out of the tractor. All right, done up, done a faff. No, I won't, I won't. All right, see you in a minute. Yeah, give me five, I'll be with you. All right. Hello? Help, Beanie. You are right? Yeah. Is he... Is he... Are we all good? Yeah. We're just about to head off to go start the milking now. Great. Well, I've got everything. Brilliant. Um, are you sure you're all right doing all this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Right, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you back in the house then. Don't worry if you can't get it all done in time. You know, as long as you get it started, it, it's kind of a surprise still. <laughs> okay. See ya. See ya. Right, press that button. This one? Ah. Oh. Bloody hell, George. I know what. See, they all come in. Right, watch me now. Take it in. So, this is called pre dip. Make sure you got gloves on. Wipe each teeth. Yeah, then put the units on. Then you leave it. Go to the next one. Okay. Dip again. Right, wipe it off. And get your units on. Okay. Right. And what I have to do is when they get through here about halfway, I'll show you what to do. Right, and do you want me to have a go? No, 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 not yet. You just take this in and learn it. Okay. So you've got your gloves on. Ah, right. gloves are important. Dip. Use the pre dip on each teat. And then wipe it off this blue roll okay and the units go on and the units will drop off automatically you come over here now quickly right when they drop off you've got this iodine spray here yeah when they drop off wait for them there you go right I spray each one with this iodine okay and that's it job done all right then. you can see the milk going into the into the jar do you want to do these then? Yeah, no worries, I can do that. So. Well, that's it, that's it, next one. Got the gloves on, dip, pre-dip, and put the units on. Well, that's it, spot on. Bloody hell, they come out quick, don't they? Well, they do, you get used to it, mate, don't worry. <laughs> it's not too bad. Well, I know, ah. Now, I'll, I'll take over, you just, Right, let me take over. Okay. A few things you need to be aware of. I find this the best time of day. Right, morning, this time. Main reason is we can check on them. Right, check the girls out. You know, look over them. See if you see anything. Check the bags. You know, most important area of a cow is at the back end, isn't it, really? Yeah. Check the teats, you know. See if any of them are lame when they're walking in and out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you can proper take a look at them, can't you? Because they're coming in every day. Exactly. It's the best time to see them, get eyes on. And luckily we don't milk that many, so it shouldn't take too long. And also there's a waste bucket. What, this here? Yeah. So when you get new to cows, you know which ones are on medicine and stuff like that. You can't put that milk into the tank. Okay. So when that happens, let me get by here. No worries. When, when that happens, we have to put it straight in, hook it up. You can slow it down, the rotary, just turn it off, slow it down. So if that happens, I just suggest turn it off and then, yeah, make sure you get their milk 
to go in the waste bucket. We'll take that away. Can we not use that at all? No, 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 no. When they go to the dairy, they check for anything in there, like antibiotics. If they check, if there's any tiny amount of antibiotics in that tank, it all gets rejected and sent back, and we lose out on all the milk we've milked that day. Bloody hell. How often do you get the milk picked up nowadays? Because you know back in Carmson, I remember it was every couple of days. Ah, uh, same, same. We've got two tanks now, so technically, you know, we could go a little bit longer, but it's about keeping the milk fresh. Do you have it all set up? What temperature? I tell you what, when this is done now, you know, because that's all the ones we're milking, this milk will get sent through. If you keep an eye on it now, it gets sent through. It'll start dropping down. Oh, I can see it. Right, as that goes in tank, follow me. Is it just direct on its own? Ah, oh, it directly pumps it in. Bust it. Right, um. so normally what I do is I try to fill up one tank now that we've got two. Because never had two before, we used to have one. So I fill up one and then I'll get them come out and pick it up, you see. And then we can start filling up a second. It just means it will never get too full. That's a good idea. Right, so if you see it, it's set at 3.7 degrees. Keep it as chilled as possible without freezing it, because then it keeps it fresh. Okay. How do you judge what kind of money you're going to get from it? Well, obviously quantity, but, you know, butterfat's a massive part. If you test it, tell me the butterfat quantity of it, you know, how good it is in that regard. The more butterfat, the better. You know, the higher the butterfat, the more they're going to pay for each litre. I get you. So, quantity matters because the amount of volume you're sending, but it could be worth more. Oh, exactly. Think of it like when we took barley. And they test it, don't they? If it's not very good ball, it might go for something else. Especially with wheat. You know, if you take wheat, you know, they might send that out to feed. Never mind putting it for bread or something like that to a mill. So it has to be a certain quality. And if it is, then they're going to pay more for it. And then, obviously, the more you got, the better it is. That makes sense. That's straightforward enough then, George. I think I get it. Oh, well, I don't expect you do it. You know, I'm still, still working on the farm and everything. But it's nice to know you can cover it and... I think, you know, a couple times a week, you can come out and, and do a bit with me and get really used to it, so eventually you'll be confident to do it on your own. Yeah. Fair play. So it's chilled at three point, around three, three and a half. Ah, uh, three and a half. So when, when will you give them a call? Well, it's already set up. They'll come out, pick it up. Usually it's every two, three days with that. Bloody hell. It's good, isn't it, this? Oh, bloody brilliant. Best one I've ever had. Makes my life a lot easier, tell you that. <laughs> All right, mate. Thanks for showing me that. Oh, no worries. Should we go and have a brew, then? Oh, we'll go in. What we've been? About an hour, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Let's go have a brew. How are you getting on with that field? <laughs> really good. Probably got a few more passes left and then just a few headlands. I'll get it done within... Within another 45 minutes in that field, it'll be done. <laughs> well, there we go then. Bloody hell. I may as well get that roll then. Yeah, you may as well, because, well, I can start the work on it as soon as we get it. And, well, I've got another, probably a week at least before it starts germinating through. Well, yeah, you should be able to get that rolled in a week, shouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, that's good then. Well, it's been good, that has. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad uh, I showed you that. Yeah, me too. Thanks, that, George. Oh, no worries. What's that bloody smell? I don't know. I left something on? I don't, know. I don't know. Oh, bloody hell, Beanie, what are you doing? Surprise! Bloody surprise, what are you doing? I'm making us a dinner. A bloody dinner? You're making it for us? <laughs> Thank you very much. That's too kind, you didn't have to do that. Oh, it was Grafton I's idea and... We thought it'd be a nice treat for you. Yeah, I was trying to surprise you, mate. Oh, bloody hell, you didn't have to do that. Well, I know, but Beanie wanted to cook us something nice. And we got ourselves a beef joint. A beef joint? A roasting joint? Yeah. Bloody hell, you did. All the trimmings? Yeah, all the trimmings, buddy. Oh, bloody hell, Beanie, you want any help? No, I'm all good. Don't worry about me. You two go and sit down. Are you sure Beanie will help? No, I'll tell you what, leave it to it. You don't want to take control, you know. She knows what she's doing, she knows where she is. We'll just be a mother. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you two sit down. 
Oh, bloody hell, it made my day, that is. Thank you very much to both of you. I really appreciate that. I usually try and have a nice own cooked meal, but it's bloody difficult when, you know, you're cooking for yourself. Oh, to be honest, me and Keith have been pretty lazy recently. Why? <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, bloody hell, takeaways, other meals. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that, though, anyway. I know, but this is different, isn't it? Own cooked meal like this on table. Bloody hell. It's been a while since I've had one of them. That's good then. Oh, it's bloody brilliant. Thank you again. Oh, I can't believe it. Made my day this has. Beef dinner like that. <laughs> or trimmings. Yeah. Oh, be bloody lovely. Oh, I'm glad, mate. I'm glad. Oh, I think it'd be good. I'd best not tell Keith though when I go back. <laughs> oh, he, he wanna be happy with us now. <laughs> yeah, I never thought of that. I don't know, tell Keith. He'll think we've made it because he's not here. I <laughs> know no, but that ain't the case, is it? No, not at all. We wanted to do something nice for you, George. You've done a lot for me and Beanie. Oh, well, you don't owe me anything. I know that. It's just a way of doing something nice back. Well, well, all right then. Fair play, fair play. I appreciate it. It's going to be lovely. Yeah, that's it. And you got to go back anyway, and I'll get back out in the field. What? Fair play. At least you get that done. Yeah, are you going to bring him back tonight? Well, depends how he is. Doubt it. Not for an up like that. He'll probably be in for a few days. Fair play. At least you're going to say hello to him. Ah, I said I would. Didn't that bad. I was drive. I would drive back. You know, didn't that bad. All right, then, mate. Well, we'll have everything sorted here before we go. Well, I know you will. At least the cow's been milked again now. We got feed and everything. The calves are right, Beanie. Yeah, they're fine, George. Well, there we go then. Uh, well, whenever you're done, just head off. I'm going to get that field done before I, I go, George. I want to make sure it's finished off. Oh, well, you've only got a little bit left now. Exactly. Right, bloody hell. You sure you don't want us to do anything, Beanie? You know, we can get old cutlery out, set table. Uh, yeah, you can do. Thank you. Right, come on, Scroff. Let's do that. Uh, I'll wash up. Ah, you heard that. He said he wash up. I'm not washing up. He'll do it. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. Right, come on then. Let's get old stuff together. <laughs> we on our your way, are we? No, you're fine. <laughs> Gotta wait for this. Looking back from here, I can see that we were blind To the burdens we would shoulder And the struggles we would find But growing me as strong as strong can be Those were the times Those were the ways So take me back So take me Ice cream until our heads hurt. We were trading candy bars and sticks of bubble gum Trying not to laugh in church Do you remember? Like I remember And no oh, Those were the times Those were the ways oh, 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 oh So take me back Take me back oh, 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 oh Those were the times oh, 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 oh I wish we could have stayed oh, 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 oh Take me back Take me back 